Amen. Brother Brian, we use this scripture, Mark chapter 16. Mark says, from an amnesty to this day. And the title is, It is the Rising of the Sun. Et le titre fut, c'est le lever du soleil. But the main thought and the subject, la, la pensée principale et le sujet, was the quickening power. Était la puissance vivifiante. So the main subject tonight, this morning, is the quickening power. Alors le message principal ce matin, c'est la Another thing I forgot, Brother Maunyo sent the church greetings yesterday. I talked to him, I spoke with him. J'ai parlé avec le and he said he really miss you yeah. all. Let's give the Lord a round of applause for Brother Maunyo. Amen. Amen. Remember the family will be coming soon. Amen. Amen. So let's turn to Mark chapter 16, verses 1 to 3. Mark 16, 1 to 3. Today, give your time to Jesus. Donnez votre temps aujourd'hui à Jésus. And when the Sabbath was passed, lorsque le sabbat fut passé, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, Marie de had Magdala. brought sweet spices. Marie de Magdala, Marie, mère de Jacques, and Salome achetèrent des aromates. That they might come and anoint him. Afin d'aller embaumer Jésus. Oh, this woman, they were wonderful women indeed. Ces femmes furent des femmes merveilleuses. No wonder in the Bible God used women a lot. Il n'est pas étonnant que dans la Bible, Dieu a beaucoup If only a woman knows her position, the si church. La femme connaît sa position, you have a unique position. Tu as une position unique. Maybe you are not ordained as a preacher. Tu n'es pas ordonné en tant que God, the Bible says God forbid it. Parce que la Bible dit Dieu interdit. But a lot of ministry in the church, you see the women are part of it. Mais vous voyez beaucoup de ministères dans l'église, la femme est so, partie de ça. So, early morning, See, the men didn't do it. They should have done it. They should have made an effort, but the women caught that revelation. And with the knowledge they have to go to where the sepulchre is and anoint his body. Oh, somebody, God wants you to anoint him. Anoint the Lord Jesus Christ with your praises. That is what he feed on. But the Bible says he feed on our praises and worship. That is why he would never miss coming to church if it's a true church. And that early morning, at the rising of the sun, the sun was about to rise. Oh, somebody, that's a beautiful time to see when you see the sun rising from the east. The venture is going to set in the west. This woman, they hurry up. Oh, they made a the right decision, brother. Oh, somebody, you have to make a right decision. Oh, somebody hearing me say amen. And the decision, the best decision you can make for Jesus is when you see the sun rising. But I will call it the dual sun rising. Because one is S-U-N but the greater one is the S, capital S, capital O, capital N. So this morning I challenge your faith to rise up with the rising of the sun. With the ministry of the son of man revealed. When the sun is rising in your heart this morning. So this woman they caught that divine revelation. What they plan to do, even though they didn't do it, 
but it honored the Lord. Because that was the time that our Lord was rising. Oh, if the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't rise, the Bible says, if there's no resurrection, then we are all the most miserable of all men. Then we will be the most miserable, the most lost people, individual. Oh, you didn't say amen. Because you don't want to rise with the sun. Tu ne dis pas amen parce que tu ne veux pas te lever avec le soleil avec le fils. Amen. Amen. Isn't it a powerful scripture? N'est-il pas n'est-ce pas une puissante écriture? And when they came, they have in their hands they brought sweet spices. What did you bring this morning? Ils ont amené des aromates. I begin from you. What did you bring this morning? Did you come with a clean heart and a humble soul and a testimony on your lips and praises? The Bible calls it sweet spices. A sweet smelling savor. That is your prayer. That is a believer, your position. That identify you with God. That you are living in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You will, t- we will sit down in a minute. We are trying to warm up, Deacon. Amen. That they might come and anoint him. What a blessing. Will you have done that? With the right motive to come and anoint the Lord? Because he himself, he is the anointed one. So we are the one that we need the anointing. Now, verses 2, that's where we pick up the subject. The title. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, it was Sunday, today, they came unto the sepulcher, then all of us, let's say the rest, at the rising of the sun. De grand matin, comme le soleil venait de se lever. Amen. Brother Bram preached it in 1965, and let's bow. Ceci en now your prayer, my prayer is the Lord, may you rise this morning with me. Ta prière ce matin doit, Seigneur, je veux me lever avec toi. If the Son of God rises, we got to rise with him. Si le fils de l'homme est ressuscité, nous allons ressusciter avec lui. Shall we pray together? Prions tous ensemble. Almighty God, we thank you. We bless you. Bless your majesty. I don't hear you praying. Je ne pray. vous entends pas prier. Priez. Pray for me. Pray for Priez the congregation. Moi. Pray for your friend. Priez pray for your neighbor. La congregation. Father, we surrender Priez ourselves unto you. Frère. This morning that your spirit will have preeminence. Take absolute control of our mind, our spirit, and our being. As you will rise this morning, let your children all be quickened. Let us rise with you. We commit all the saints in your hands. Commit our guests in your hands. It's Father, Lord, and Brother Mauinho, as many that have traveled. And Father, we commit John. We commit all of them in your hands. I pray that your spirit will take absolute control. Bless your people in a special way. In Jesus' name, I bring every negative contrary spirit on my faith. Any demon that will try to obstruct the message in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, may the power of God condemn the enemy. And Father, when we are done, we'll be careful to thank you. We bless all our musicians this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we take our seats? We have so much quotes, it's not even funny. But let's begin somewhere because we have to begin somewhere so we can end somewhere. We cannot stay here all forever. Before we come to the message, it's rising of the sun. And this inspiration that we preach on 
that they are Calvary, which was very amazing sermon. Ce jour, you can get a copy of that Friday sermon. Un bon sermon. And so I want to dovetail it and before we come to this. Je veux and this Avant great servant Moses, ce grand paragraph Moïse, 41. Grand Moïse, oh, paragraph but Abraham said, if you are sick, si tu es malade, look and live. Regarde, if you are downhearted, si tu as and un, un this salut, must push something out of you. Ceci doit tirer quelque chose hors de and toi. so you can take in something. Pour que tu puisses prendre you have chose. to breathe out, and so you can breathe in. Tu dois or you can chose chose breathe in and breathe chose. out. Ou bien tu chose so et tu look chose and live. Regarde, et vis. If you are downhearted, Et si tu as le brisé, Look and live. Regarde et vis. If you are weary, si tu es fatigué, if you are in trouble, si tu es dans des look and live. Regarde et vis. If you are dead in sin and trespasses, si tu es mort dans le péché, look and live. Regarde et vis. Brother Abraham said, "That's all." Abraham dit c'est tout. That's why we are here. Voilà nous ici. We are here to look to him only because everything is about him. Parce que tout est à but Abraham said he is the principal team. He is the main subject. Il est le sujet we don't want to talk about any other subject. We don't want to talk about Satan. We don't want to talk about the things of the world. We want to talk about him. We want to talk about his death and resurrection. We want to talk about the power of Calvary. We want to talk about it because Brother Bram said we are the beneficiaries of his resurrection. So that is why we are ready to lose everything so we can obtain the higher calling. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we have to align ourselves because everything that we have a need he has given amen full beneficiaries Adam sons we are bought with a price we are the full beneficiary do you understand a full beneficiary oh brother go and google and see the meaning so we are the full beneficiary of Calvary we are the full beneficiary of the cross. Now the cross, let me give you the title here. What I put here is a reflection of the sermon. Because the sermon is, it is the rising of the sun. And Barbara said the subject, subject is where we dwell on is the quickening power. La then I got a reflection Alors, le reflet, and the reflection also is a quote from the prophet et ceci aussi, une citation du everything he speaks by inspiration we are happy a, of we are happy of it tout ce a dit sous the reflection is the cross et le reflet, ou bien, le reflet, la croix. when you say the cross you cannot say the cross and you forget Calvary so the cross a symbol of our Christian belief la croix, le de oh la croix my, 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 my you are not clapping your hands let me tell you something pas. The power of Calvary and the power of the cross. La du et de la croix it must be so vital to energize power in you. Doit, uh, doit et, et votre foi. Is the power of Calvary dead? Si, est que la, la puissance du Calvary est mort? Is God's work dead? De Dieu est mort? The, the resurrection is it dead? Est que la est mort? No way. No, jamais. No way. Pas du tout. Let me tell you. Je vais vous dire ceci. It is more activated today than ever. C'est plus dynamique aujourd'hui qu'avant. With the opening of the seven seals. Avec l'ouverture des sept seaux. There is more quickening power for believer than even yesterday. Il y a plus de la puissance vivifiante pour le croyant. But you have to get it. Mais vous devez entrer. You must temps. get it in the spirit. Vous devez entrer en esprit. Hallelujah. Amen. At the opening of the seven seals. L'ouverture du septième 
God revealing himself and the full revelation of Jesus Christ is to endow a believer and quicken a believer it gives you more power than even yesterday let me tell you a man a man how many heard about Constantine you heard about Constantine, right? You're in the message, you have to know. And this Constantine, oh, he was a king. A king of Rome. But he was rivaling with his brother. His brother qualified to be the king. And Constantine also qualified. Before he can be the king, he has to fight his own brother and kill his brother and defeat his armies. So there were two armies in Rome. But Constantine, he was smart. Oh, Brother Bram said all oh, this is there. Check the church ages and all that. Is there? Amen. So you know what he did? He was a pagan. Do you understand a pagan? A worshiper of Satan. Of idol worshiper. Even him. He, he knew that believers have something he don't have. Why are you quiet on this Easter morning? He knew, Constantine knew that believers have something. So he used the wooden wooden stuff and he made the cross. Hundreds and thousands of them. And he gave the cross to every soldier. Telling his brother, I will defeat you. Brother, you cannot have the cross and lose the battle. You cannot be at Calvary and lose the battle. Because Brother Brim said, we have to be wrapped around it. In order to be quickened, you have to be wrapped around the cross. And Brother Brim said, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ will now come upon you, the worshiper. Oh, you should have been on your feet jumping this morning. Forget about your bills. Forget about your family problems. Forget about your school fees. Let's talk about his resurrection. Oh, that day at Calvary. Let me tell you, Satan was mad. When Satan realized it was too late, so he put it in the heart of the king. He said, Pilate, make sure that they seal the tomb. Make sure that the tomb be sealed. Make sure there's no even air coming out of it. And let me bring my best soldiers and let them guard the tomb in such a way that nobody, no excavator they have sealed it so tight, brother. Oh, they have sealed our Lord until he cannot come up. That's their mind. No excavator could break that seal. My brother, you wait and see. At the rising of the sun, it is possible. At the rising of the sun in your life, at the rising of the sun of God in your life, oh, at the rising of the son of man in your life, the message of the hour in your life, all things are possible. Your life is going to change. Your life is going to be transformed. Your mind will be renewed. Why? Because the son of God is rising and it's rising with the sun. And you can imagine. Vous pouvez imaginer the disciples, the men, Peter Dems. Pierre et les autres. Said, this woman, this too many women, where are they going? Oh, tu te Come on, you, you don't want to sleep. Pas Even we that follow him. Nous même qui he aussi. has disappointed us. Il nous a... We thought that, is it not what they said? Cleopas and his friend. 
We, said, we, thought, we thought that he is the one coming to save us. But now look today, he has been sealed in the tomb. And you see all the weapons, the soldiers, and the police officers, and the palace guards. All of them were ready. He said, if any man will bring an excavator to cut the seal, we're going to kill them all. Oh, brother, they didn't know what they were saying. But I'm telling you, on that Easter morning, at the rising of the sun, your life that has been sealed in sin, your life that has been sealed in doubt, the seal will be broken and you will be free. Oh, somebody say amen. Can you put a scripture again? Let's look at verses 2 again. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came on to the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. It's about time for believers to rise with the sun. Don't get stuck on your seats. Ne soyez pas collé à vos sièges. You don't know how to say amen. Vous ne savez pas comment dire amen. If you are like that, it means that the devil trying to see you in and out. Et vous le faites, Satan. But I don't want the devil seal. Je ne veux pas le seal. What I want is God's own seal. Je veux plutôt le seal. Is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. C'est le baptême du Saint Esprit. Amen. Amen. And when that happened. It's the beginning of a Christian victory. Now verses 3. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the sepulchre? Oh, sad woman. Oh, and you can imagine the Bible said the thing was sealed. The, the type of stone they have used to seal it. I don't know the, the, the type of glue they have used it. And this woman without any form of kind of any instrument in their hand. And they don't have even the muscle to move the stone. Oh, even Peter, the fisherman, they didn't go with this woman. And so they went there. And they said, oh, who rolled? And so they were talking about it. But let me tell you, your desire will be met already. Before you speak, God will answer you. On this Easter morning, don't you doubt him for nothing. Because with God, all things are possible. Oh, somebody will shout amen. Power of Calvary. So we're going back to that sermon, the great servant Moses. The great servant Moses. He said, look and leave. That's all. For the cross go on before us. Take up your cross and follow. That is why when he met Simon, Simon was on his way somewhere. Maybe Simon was going to work that day. But Simon. And then the cross was too heavy for him. Because he had buried all the way from the prison all the way he carried the cross. Then he came to a place he cannot carry it any longer. And this black man was going somewhere. Or sometimes when you are going, you don't know where you are going. Until the Lord begins to show you the purpose. Because he said the first step of a righteous is ordained, ordered. So Simon the serene, his, his footstep was all dead. And the soldier said, Hey, you black fellow, come on here. Hey, where are you going? You know that Simon could have run away. He has to be a special man, you 